Oh my god. Jesus is gone. He went back to heaven? Okay, well, actually, wait, wait. He either went to heaven or he, like, he revived himself and left because he knew I was taking care of it in there. I know that's not his skeleton because it was there last night, but... Hope wherever you are, Jesus. I hope you're happy and doing well. Alright, well... Look! This guy's still here. That guy's still in the bushes, but Jesus is gone? That's wild. That's fucking wild. What the fuck? Alright. Alright. There's that hunter, just chilling. Okay, so two things. Um, we need to go back to Astrid. Where the fuck is Sid here? Oh, the the Yarl. Yeah, we never went back to the Yarl because we ran into Jesus. That's right. Okay, so three things. We need to go back to the Yarl. We need to go back to Astrid. And now we have to go to some sort of temple to, like, relieve the darkness or something. I don't know if that's part of Jesus' quest. Like, Jesus brought me here. For a reason. To kill Satan. To kill those necromancers. But then we found that... That deacon. That deacon. Not a deacon. Deacon's from Fallout 4. We haven't done a Do Not Die in Fallout 4 yet. But, um... Yeah, so... Oh, Ow! Fucking don't give me a disease, motherfucker. Don't you fucking do it. So, I'm going to go talk to Jarl, then I'll talk to Astrid, and then I think I'm gonna do the, the beacon quest. Some sort of castle? I'm, I'm trying to, like, get back on track, but, you know, I guess I could visit this castle really quick. I'm not too far from Valkyries, it's like right down there. Just one tower. I mean, how could, how long will it take to loot this place? Okay, he doesn't see me, he's blind. Well, I know these are bandits. There. The other one's down below. Oh, look at these three arrows. Oh, I should switch back to iron arrows. I gotta save the steel ones for, like, real enemies. Dude, look at all these fucking veggies and flour. I know I'm caring too much, but it's fine because I'm about to eat it all. Alright, see how much veggies I can eat to restore my hunger. Okay, got a little more to go. 14 apples. Do you ever just eat like 14 apples? I was hoping one of these guys would have a key. I could probably shoot him through the window. I think there's two guys in there. Is that his head? Cause that's the door. 
That used to be adorable, it caved in. Okay, he's the only one. I hate that I can't just shoot him through that. Oh, come on. What's up, man? Good swing. Man, you guys used to be scary. With the shields? That was nothing. Can you get my arrow back? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Gold? <gasps> oh, that is good armor. That is good armor. I don't have. I'll make room for it. Uh. Oh, I can make target tweak the fire. That's actually pretty good. Cool. Um, I think there's a bonus from wearing all the sneak armor. That's the only thing that sucks. It's in. It's in my active effects. I think. I think. Oh, here it is. Arm rating is up by 25 because I'm wearing uh, all like all the Dark Brotherhood armor. But that makes my health go up by 50, so it might be a good trade-off. It might be a good trade-off. Look at all these gems. Let's, let's go outside really quick and see what it looks like. I look kind of silly, I guess. But it goes really cool with my eyes. My chin's coming out to that. Alright. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty... That's a, that's a good find right there. Is this one of the bandits that was from above? <laughs> Or did they bury one of their own here? One of those two things are happening. I don't know which one though. Is there a dead guy in this lake? An alchemist. Interesting. No, the book. Uh, I think. Do you see that fish down there? Pretty sure it's about to bite me. Ow. Oh no, it's one of those. Brigates, I think. Oh, there's multiple of you. I also realized my health is kind of low. There's two healing in one. Flames in the other. I'm, am I not healing? Oh, you know what it is? I think it's my food poisoning. Is there three of them? I think it was, I think it was two spriggans and one slaughterfish. Yeah, I don't really feel like fighting them. I don't need to. Funny enough, I think one's here. Cause we've been here. Yeah, there's only a shield in there. Cause we fought a spriggan here, like in episode like, ten. This bandit got killed by it. Killed this friggin' like right out here with fire. Alright. Uh, Dark Brotherhood's right there. <sighs> They're closer, so I guess... I guess we'll just do this place first. Oh, we made it back home. What's up, Astrid? Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager. Uh, I did what I had to be done. Nothing more. Well, I did more. I murdered two people for. Of course, dear. Of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Yeah. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Okay. 
It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Oh. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Uh, just listen. You must understand. If Cicero is turning the others against me, against against us, us? our family would not survive such division. All right. What do you want me to do, dear sister? I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No. You need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the night. Oh, coffin. okay. Uh, that seems disrespectful. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet. And report back to me. Uh, what okay, you yeah, I guess I'll do this really quick. All right, well, let's go. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. Oh, I need to find out where the fuck that room is then. Is it over here? This place is fucking confusing. That requires a key. Hello? Oh, pfft, that was deeper than I thought it was. Oh. I had to break into it. Oh, gosh. What could I have been working on my lock picking? Oh, my goodness. Uh. Oh, my God. This is gross. This is gross. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not, not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a but he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. I'm the yes, one. You. Oh, it's me. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones. Yeah. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Okay, but I have to do that after Poor I help out Jesus. Sweet mother, I'm 
tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? So. What treachery? Defiler, debaser, and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! <laughs> Explain yourself! <laughs> uh, the Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery, more trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! This guy's extreme. Wait, she said to tell you darkness rises when silence dies. She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. Yeah. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. He <laughs> calls himself sweet. Then oh boy, true. stop that. She's stop back. it. Stop Our doing that. Thank you. Back. She has chosen a listener. She has chosen you! Yup! <laughs> Me! No, 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 no need for that. I'm just, I'm just an assassin. Why sit this, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you alright? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the it's listener. Me. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? Stop. True. Stop it. True. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been Chosen. Why do you have to rhyme? It was a late movie just did. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Uh, yes. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? Why are you tapping your foot like that? Stop. You're making me nervous. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Uh, yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amand Motier in Volenrud. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is, but Valenrude, that I have heard of, and I know where it is. Uh, shall I go there? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night yeah, Mother may yes. have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. Okay, you I got... I you sound insecure about, about this. this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Sure. Oh, you are the listener. Stop! You are the listener. Stop it! Mother well, I have. <laughs> All right. So now I need to do like miscellaneous contracts from Nazir. I am going to put that on hold. We're gonna do the Break of Dawn, and we're gonna do go talk, talk go talk to the Jarl. That's what we're gonna do right now. This is all just oh, really? The the door I tried to go through? Go get some work from Nazir. I need time to. I'm busy. I gotta go help out Jesus. Jesus needs me. I'm coming back, Jesus. 
I will do the work you've bestowed upon me? Sure. I like how we started this campaign with, uh, you know, joining the Dark Brotherhood to do, like, assassination contracts. And here I am, trying to help out Jesus, the Lord Almighty himself, with whatever he needs of me, so. Yeah, we took a turn. I'll come back to the Dark Brotherhood, but right now I need to do what Jesus needs. And then after I take care of Jesus, I'll come back. I also need to find that Khajiit to give him the moon amulet. I would like to do that before I die. I'd feel bad if I got it back from him and died in the middle of nowhere. He just never gets it back. Uh, no, I saw a lot of wolves though. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Okay. Now I gotta speak to Lod about some dog. <laughs> 